woods. Deep in the Virginia woods. These are preparations for a new American battleground. People ready, they say, to fight if Donald Trump goes down. Because there's a lot of patriots that, that love that man, including myself. John won't give his last name, but he's free with his opinions. He says America could be on the point of a second civil war. If they try to steal the election from Donald Trump, that's going to be the, basically the trigger point. He's preparing a fleet of off-road vehicles. There's some uh, thoughts about possibly mounting a, a gun on this. Do you ever see the movie Mad Max? Oh, yeah, my favorite. But this is no entertainment. In a series of safes, John has an Aladdin's cave of military-style weapons. You've got a lot of semi-automatics. Among the least of the weaponry is a style rifle, standard issue for Australian troops. The FBI says applications for federal firearms background checks are running at record levels. More than 30 million Americans so far this year. And the run on ammunition is so strong that where shops still have bullets, they're rationing them. The NRA gun lobby jokes on Twitter that gun owners dance like Donald Trump when gun stores get new supplies. But John has been stockpiling for 20 years. If there's ever a need that fellow patriots need ammunition, I have it. He'll supply guns as well, he says, to patriots willing to take on... Anyone that tries to destroy the Constitution and our rights, that's who... And who do you think that might be? You know. <laughs> right now, it looks like the, the left and the, and the liberals. Yeah! Oh! And he says they will be easy meat. We have a big head start on somebody who's just getting into the, to the field. Intriguingly, John says he voted for Barack Obama in 2008, but those sympathies are long gone. Complete with a uh, Confederate flag? Sure. The American flag is uh, being washed right now. It got dirty. John's 17-year-old son, Sam, is convinced Trump will not stand down if he loses the vote. I think if it's rigged, he's not going to step down. And I don't think people are...